Thank you for being on our show. It's uh, welcome Dude. to beer, welcome to Beer Thirty. I um, am happy to be here. And so we got Tim Ream here. Uh, quick question: um, Percentage wise, how many times do you think people mess up your name? Uh, like spelling wise, it's definitely majority. I would go. I mean, like I have good friends that continue <laughs> to mess it up. So I would say I would say sixty sixty percent. Depends on if I like work with with you. You know, right. like, if you've had to write my name before, mm-hmm. then usually. Like, usually you can remember it, but if it's, like, in passing, and I'm like, hey, my name's Tim Ream, that's, like, a 99% chance of messing it up. That, and, your, and, your, and your genre is a little different. It's hard to, like, pinpoint your genre down. Everyone else is a little country. Yeah. And we, were, and we kind of talked about this yesterday, but, like, mm-hmm. if you had to try and define it, are you, just, are you even trying to define it? Or is it more just kind of... I'm not really trying to define it. Like, people ask you to define it, and I don't want to be like... Uh, yeah, like um, <laughs> rebel or whatever but like I don't know like it's it's not a thing that I've heard very often like I think I'm if I had to relate myself to someone it would probably be like Ed Mm Sheeran-esque you know and because he does use a guitar in a lot of what he does and like an acoustic guitar live and um, whereas I do I do that and I would consider myself in the pop spectrum Mm -hmm. I still always say like singer songwriter first because it it like a lot of my songs can do well in a in a round setting right um, with Justin acoustic guitar, but also they can do well built out in the studio and, and whatever. So for me, when I first started hearing your stuff, it reminds me of early Mayor, where it's like I'll take that. Shit like you know, like day. like back to squares type Mayor. Room, like, yeah, room, room for squares, room for squares, room for squares. Sort of thing. Like it's like uh, it has that feel of just it's not quite it's pop it's not quite pop, but I guess it kind of like yeah that genre, well, but it's it, just something different. That's huge, man. Speaking of. You also give John Mayer faces. It's like <laughs> when you sing. It's, it's like you ate something sour without expecting it, okay. but still sexy. You know okay. what I mean? I'll so, take that. Yeah, I feel like that should Can be. Can you your, give me an example? Uh, no, I feel like I can't. I can't mimic <laughs> you. I feel like you have to do it. You something know I mean? sour that something I didn't sour. expect. Like, so like, it's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, but it's still sexy. <laughs> yeah. So all right, no, but for real. So we we went we went and saw your show last night. And you got a great music video coming out. It's gonna. It, it looks awesome. I took a little look at it. Shout it out Will Tell. Shout, shout out Will Tell. Shout out Will Tony. Uh, the goat is killing it. Um, so what's coming next? What's what coming next? Coming you? next. So today is the twenty fourth of August, and it's yes. two weeks until I release. It's not me. It's you. And I haven't announced that yet. So um, this is exclusive. We got an exclusive. Well, if we release it today, because I'm about to announce it today, I'm about to throw a teaser. Out. Well, okay, actually, if you release right. it, if you release it within a week, um, no, I don't want to mess up your plans. No, it's okay. I don't. I only tease it. So like, all I put is like, it's a video, and then it says nine seven. Okay. On it. So like, we don't know what's. Up, we can make that. But I, I kind of like. People know something's coming out, but as far as like, it's not me. It's you. Like that's I got that's, the exclusive. that's exclusive I got access the exclusive. right there. So. Yeah, you're not a bad friend. Um, <laughs> also, so we got the exclusive. We got it's not me, it's you. So Drop yeah, it. that's coming September out 7th. September seventh. Okay. Um, video, you know, we will play by ear sort of thing. But there is a video that's coming, um, and after that, after this one, so like basically right now, um, I am trying to build a catalog of songs and like build a little bit of a reputation, get some like clout behind me before I start. Clout, man, that's a real clout, thing. It's, it's, it's important. Trying to get some clout behind me to uh, before I start like really pursuing meetings to get involved with like a label or something. Because you know I have I've released one song and then featured on one song and they're both doing well for the an independent. The views are through the roof on so. Uh, um, hey there, liquor. Hey there, liquor yeah. and these walls. They're yeah, both yeah. through the roof. So hey there, and I'm and I'm like these walls is great and I'm and I'm stoked to be a part of it. I feel like. But it, but it is a feature, you know, and like that doesn't always transfer over to like Tim Ream's success, you know. It's like Arcondo was the artist, and like he's killing it, um, and it was stuck to be part of it. And like I said, like that really does hint at kind of like the possibilities for what I want to do, yeah. Uh, because it is a little bit more of electronic sound. But Hey There Liquor is a really nice um, boat of confidence, just because it. Like I didn't have any budget behind it. Mm-hmm. The producer that I'm working with, so like we're splitting everything down the middle, and he's like investing in me, um, like time and even money in some cases. And um, it's just like 
it's, so it's really nice to see the success that we've had with that song because it is completely organic. Um, just what it's done streaming wise and like with Spotify it's I think at like 185,000 right now yeah, it's 185,000 we haven't checked it yeah. and then These Walls has almost, five, almost yeah. 500 something like that so uh, and that was put yeah. out through a label right? right which is another reason why it's like yeah that's awesome but like you got a crazy amount of less, success for, for well, b- almost no backing like it's, it's it's cool to break the noise floor which yeah. which like there's a ton of people that I know that you know don't break the noise floor and especially on a first song and so like that was really reassuring and it mm-hmm. came at a really necessary time because like I, you know it's just one of these like artist things yeah. doubting their like yeah, their insecurities and all that so like when it first released hey the liquor it was like it didn't like because discover weekly and release radar stuff takes a little bit to like catch on mm-hmm. or it takes a little bit to get entered into like the algorithm or whatever it is and um when hey the liquor first got released like a week, maybe two even, after it was released, it was like still sitting around like eight or 10,000, you know? And like, that's just, you know, like that, that's good, it's not bad, but it just means like that's my audience, like my local audience, that's those are the people that I could reach with my social media, you know? And they're, they're digging it, but um, I just, I got like scared because I don't know how to break the noise floor otherwise, you know, without a huge budget behind me, so. It was really, really nice to see it get up in like discovers and release radar stuff because that just like it does something I can't do, which is to get into strangers' ears. Yeah, you know. So you know, like Sp- and ha- and having things like Spotify and things like that—that's a huge, just like it's massive. Like, six years, five years ago, couldn't make that happen. Right. Now it's like the yeah. ability to put it out yourself is huge. No, Spotify yeah. is huge, yeah. and, and people kind of say like, "Well, it's." you know, you don't get as much money for the stream and like, whereas like iTunes store, you get paid for the thing. But like Spotify, even though it may not seem like it from a financial perspective, like right now, they've done a huge service to so many independent artists by just giving a platform for them and making it super easy. And they really are like for the artist. I mean, they do what they can to to put people that they want to believe in on like a pedestal. And so it's it's a really cool thing that, that they're doing. And yeah. Well, that's awesome, man. I'm excited for it all. I really yeah. am. I, it's fun to see somebody from uh, where I'm from do big things. So, thank you so much for your time, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, the video right. coming out soon. The new single coming out September 7th. Uh, everybody be on the lookout for it. It's gonna be on Spotify. It'll be streamable. Yep. It'll be it'll be Spotify. There'll be like a pre-save link probably okay. a a week or so out. But awesome, man. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, the man. Uh, you heard it here first. Tim Rain's a bad friend. Uh, and don't forget that. Put that on your social media, guys. Don't forget. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs>